Hey you guys, good morning, good morning, um, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here, my name is Gaia Strength and this is my channel, um, it's so good to see you guys, um, by that title this is going to be a very realistic vlog, not that my other vlogs aren't realistic, but, um, this is just a more like real transparent vlog in regards to um how my day goes sometimes and me transitioning into trying to get a routine schedule it's very hard for me to do that um so yeah i just wanted to let you guys in a bit just because i know a lot of people i heard um oh it's the um one of the youtubers who i do watch she did touch on how a lot of different creators make it seem like oh they have this whole new nice routine and they're good every day but that's not how it is and it's really true so um i just want to be transparent maybe just for the ones who feel like they still might not have a steady routine or or isn't being on top of their routine if that makes sense really um but yeah y'all so i set my alarm for five this morning to like get up set it for five i was still sleepy i said okay let me get up at 5 30 woke up it was six something okay let me wake up at 6 30 woke up it was like 7 17 it's like oh my gosh so the time just like completely went i was supposed to be up walked with Bo, um showered gone to my mom's house to wash our clothes um before i headed to the office today's martin luther king day too um so yeah um i don't know y'all so i was a little thrown off by that because i'm just so i'm tired just because i do a lot in the day and my brain is like on go like 24 7 you know but that's the gist i think i'm gonna get up brush my teeth um just simply do a small little walk with bow i'm not gonna walk walk him because um doing those long walks and especially the weather is not back to sunny in florida i don't know what's going on i hate that it's still cool and cold out um it's messing with my sinuses and i feel like low-key kind of getting a cold but i'm not gonna wish that upon me um but yes because walking sweating in the cold does not mix with me so i'm gonna just take bow out and then i have a um, our big hitters call at 845. That's our business call meeting. So, uh, yeah, I feel draggy today. Honestly, I feel draggy. Tad bit emotional, but nothing too crazy. But yeah, I feel a little drag today. But let's let's get our day started. Good morning. Hi. Let's say good morning. Hi. You're going to say good morning. Hi, Puss. Hi, my love. Y'all, fun fact. Um, Bo loves this song. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Excitement, excitement. All right, guys, it's time to take Bo out. 
Don't ask why we have to do this. Let's just not. All right. Okay, come on, sit. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. <sighs> Let's go. All right, come on. Let's go. You know the deal. Come on, come up closer. Sit down. Thank you. Let's get my key because I don't be trusting these folks. I hope it ain't too cold outside. Okay, it feels a little normal. Hey, what are you supposed to do? Thank you. All right, come on. Sit. All right, y'all, let's go. All right, you guys, so... All right. Like I told y'all in my last vlog, if you haven't watched that vlog, go ahead and tune into that. It was a day of my life vlog. I surprised my mom. We had a good day on that day, so go ahead and tune into that. But like I was saying, um, I've been using my front camera when I'm putting um, my, my phone in this suction cup thingy. Just because using the back camera and then trying to take it off of it, it's so much work. And the suction thingy is no joke, like at all. Hold on, bring this up a bit. Um, but yeah, so now I'm heading over to my mom's house. As you can see, it's um, laundry in the back. Ethan was able to put that in for me before he went to work early this morning, like 1 a.m. So I'm heading over to my mom's house and I'm gonna start like tackling these loads and then I will come back home um, a little later. I'm just having a little bit of a late start today. Typically, I'll be like heading over to the office at 11, but today, I'm, I don't know, I might come in just a tad bit later and I'll just stay later, you know what I'm saying? But today is just, now on these days, I didn't prioritize my laundry this weekend very well. We had a lot going on this weekend, so I just wanna tackle this, knock this out. And yeah, so I will see you guys once I get over to the house. All right, y'all, so I'm at my mom's house. I started breaking down the laundry, so you got Ethan's clothes here, my white, that, some denims, that, this, this, right. Hush, no, because I gave you a chance and you wanted to be sneaky and try to come in here and steal my clothes. Now you're in there, no. He's ridiculous, but you guys, we're gonna start the laundry now, so I'll put it on fast mode for y'all. Hi, you guys. So, oopsie. Oh, I was um eating the leftover pancakes that Ethan and I had yesterday on Sunday um, at the Smith & Webster restaurant. So I had the leftover pancakes because I couldn't finish it yesterday and I knew this would make me full. But now I am about to um, tackle something that I need to do really quickly, but I'm gonna tackle this while watching um, Issy. Um, the YouTuber who I love watching. <sighs> She's really in tune with like self-care, giving yourself grace, but also being real with yourself as well. You know, like you're not always going to be 100% if that makes sense. So I'm going to just watch, finish watching her and then do what I have to do at the same time. But yeah, y'all. So let's get to work. <laughs>
y'all. So, I'm if y'all hear little like dingling, like a ling 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 sound, that's that's night going back and forth, y'all. But uh, <laughs> I want it to be very transparent right now on what has been a stressor for me right now, and it's been my wedding. Um. I, I don't know it's like like I said I'm being very real I never realized what all goes into a wedding and uh, I feel like I don't know I feel like I should have processed things oh my god hold on one second y'all he's chewing on something let me spray it down one second y'all okay guys so I'm back but like I was saying I honestly truly feel that I don't know I don't know if I rushed into I don't know I, I feel like I rushed into the wedding process very fast um, in regards to like getting in like when it comes to like getting my wedding planner and um, what do you call it getting the venue like I got all of that so fast and just because I was so excited of course I still am excited to marry like the love of my life but I feel like if I actually would it would have took some time really process the amount of people that I wanted um if I really wanted to get married at a venue um also if I was able to take into account all the work it, it, all the work that goes in with sending out save the dates sending out invites and planning that kind of stuff like if I really took the time to think about that I honestly feel like I probably I don't know originally I was the one who uh, wanted to do a courthouse wedding I just you know wanted to be able to have it very intimate get married and then that was that because I just wanted to be married to my man and that's that um, but Ethan convinced me in regards to like get doing the wedding and stuff just because you know he wanted he I felt like I deserved to have a wedding and all the things that he wanted me to you know have so that's when we moved into that and all those other things but <clears throat> I'm just kind of I don't know y'all I'm in this space I just don't feel like doing anything like i have my wedding planner of course but i'm saying i don't feel like doing nothing in regards to this wedding like except for i'm excited for taking pictures getting ready for the day but i am not i don't know i am not for i don't know worrying about other people I don't know I'm just trying to process it and you know what I need to drop this down and see what comes to my brain like just write everything out and then see how I could process it and I'll talk to my wedding planner about it but y'all I don't know and there's contracts that's too that goes into it so for my girls who are wedding um who are soon to be brides who are newly engaged I will say give yourself excuse me I would say <clears throat> give yourself oh it might sound long but six months to a year to honestly really plan out how you want your <clears throat> wedding to be do not rush into planning wanting to find a wedding plan and want to look at venues and stuff just because you're excited which is okay you could do those things but don't make final decisions right then and there uh, that's just my tip of what I would definitely say um, and this really would have been a conversation for my wedding um, series blog but that's another reason why I haven't been able to like put everything together together with my wedding series blog because I have so much to say and I just don't know how to say it you know but I just wanted to vent to you guys because this is realistic like this is the things that goes in my brain goes in my mind and 
I just have days like this where it's just difficult for me to just process and like go through my day, you know, but I'm going to write things out right now and see what I can do. So yeah. Oh, you trying to meet your maker, darling? Oh, you running out of time, huh? hi you guys i'm finally home it is about seven o'clock my mom made it back home from her vacation um i having a lot of sinus pressure and congestion i've been sneezing and sneezing i won't say i have a cold but i did feel my body wasn't feeling good this morning um so yeah it's just a lot of sinus pressure and sneezing so I actually was craving some legim, which is like a Haitian like seafood. Uh, I don't know how to put it, but it's really good and it's a soft texture and I love the seasoning and the spices plus with the rice it's just like chef's kiss. But I wasn't able to get that today and oh I have five ways. I need to color my hair. But yeah, um I wasn't able to get that today and i was like you know what i could use i could utilize whatever's in my home so ethan found something he's gonna make me some nice just a warm comfort food that's really what i'm wanting that helps to open up my sinus but also i just didn't feel like anything cold i didn't feel like a salad or um a i don't know i just didn't feel like nothing cold i wanted something warm so Ethan's um, in the kitchen now, washing dishes, and is about to cook as well. So, I'm gonna my mic and legs because I'm munchy, but I decided I'm gonna take a bath for myself and then a shower. I help kill time too while Ethan is like making the food and stuff like that. So, yeah, y'all. So, let's make this bath so I could kind of relax a bit i've kind of really been detached from social media today and um i just didn't i just felt like i felt like detaching myself today you know but hey let's go about doing this bath hi you guys it is literally the next day i'm here to close out the vlog y'all um ethan had made this like it was like the um bow tie pasta ground turkey some onions garlic um some tomato sauce and i was able to eat that it was nice and warm and it was just so good y'all and i knocked i had to put vicks on my nose and stuff and can y'all tell i'm not nasally like i'm not stuffed in everything like that um anymore so i probably was just having um allergy symptoms or something but y'all that is the end of the vlog i hope you guys enjoy my realistic vlog um i'll do more of those when i feel like <sighs> just being real with y'all you know what i'm saying sometimes and just letting y'all you know enter inside diet's brain someone honestly i get overwhelmed easily i'm working on that and sometimes i have to have breaks or <laughs> like mental breaks away from things and everything but yeah i just wanted to be able to let you guys in on what i wanted to vent about um things has definitely gotten better with the wedding stuff i was telling you guys about we made some adjustments that i'm 
very happy about for the least part. And I, I'm feeling a little bit more excited and weight lifted off my shoulders. And I talked with my wedding planner today. After I speak with her, I'm going to be messaging my um, wedding group and all those good things, y'all. But I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys subscribe. It's real 300 subscribers, okay? We are going to hit 300 subscribers by the end of February. But I enjoyed this vlog, y'all. And follow my socials. Check out my Amazon storefront down below. Um, I will have the things that I used for my um, shower. I mean, not shower. My bath um, on my Amazon storefront as well. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.